Hey everybody and welcome to the new drill of the week. This time today we're actually going to go through two drills and they're about passing and really you should be emphasizing on passing every practice especially in minor hockey. You need to focus on doing a couple drills at least three to get the team going working on the skills getting to play fast it'll help with all the other drills in the practice and it'll really stress the importance of playing fast in all of your practices and in your games. So let's get going. And these drills are circle passing drills. Um, so we're going to start with the first one. The first one, we're going to line up people at the bottom of the circle. And we can do this at all the circles in the rink. But we're just going to focus on the one circle. The first guy, he's going to take off and go right to the stop. And we really want to focus on stopping with your outside foot and putting out a target. So they really have to get a target. The second guy is going to make a pass to him right on the stick. He's going to receive the pass, and he's going to pass it right back. Okay. Then he's going to go to the outside, and he's going to stop on his outside foot, giving a target, and he's going to get the pass back, and he's going to make it back again. And he's going to take off going across and giving a really good target out in front of him. He's going to receive the pass while his feet are moving. He's going to catch it, and he's going to pass it back, and he's going to come to the side and stop. Then he's going to take off around the circle, he's going to get a pass, come around and take a shot on net. Now, it's important to really, just like in anything, it's really important where your stick is. That's what she said. To make sure that you receive the pass. If you're not given a target, then how can you expect to get the pass? The person who wants the puck, his job is to give a good target. The person passing the puck, his job is to make sure that he's hitting the target. So, it's simple rule in hockey, give a good target, okay? Now, once they do this drill for you, it's always inside out. So, we make that so that you can get the shot going. If you're working on this one, you want to make sure that they're maybe two into it before the next one starts, so that you're staggering it, so that your goalies have a good opportunity to reset. We don't want them to get a shot and another shot before they're ready to go. We want to make sure they can reset and they're ready for the next shot. So we want to stagger it and do your best with the cadence of the whistle if you have to. Or make sure these guys are watching to make sure that this guy's a little bit into the process before they start. You don't want to have it backed up so you get two shots at the same time. Okay, so that's drill number one. And here it is. You can see these are Pee Wee players and they're receiving the puck pretty good. Um, you, we'd like to see him move a little bit faster and give a good target. This guy is a little bit late getting his target out. This guy's got a good target. He receives it. Having trouble skating there, but he does receive the pass good, and he's fitter moving when he's going and getting those passes. Um, so it's really important. You really want to focus on giving a good target. This guy's got his target out early. He got his target out early. The guy fumbled with the puck in the lineup, but he's doing a great job and making sure that his puck and his stick is out in front, and he's giving a great target. The second circle passing drill, all you're going to do is you're going to have people down here again, but they're going to be skating around the, the circle. And it's really important for them to, once again, give a good target, but and they're going to keep their feet moving forward. We don't want them to be pivoting or doing a, a turn so that they're going backwards when they receive the pass. We want them to be skating forward. It's really hard to receive a pass on the circle. So that's what we're focusing on. Now there's a couple ways to do this, but basically this person is going to take off going around the circle. This guy's going to make a pass to him. He's going to receive it and then give it back to him going to get it there, he's going to give it back to him, and hopefully you can get about three passes in, and then he's going to go back, and it's going to be the same thing, pass, pass, and he's done. Now, you can end on the outside, so you go to the inside, and then back out to the outside, and then the next guy goes, and there's no shot on net, that way, if you want, you can have a coach or a player that's hurt or somebody with some pucks, and they can be warming up the goalies in the middle. Or, what you can do is if you have your both sides going, you stagger it and you go, instead of going inside out, you go outside in. So you go this way, pass, 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 come back, pass, 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 and a shot. And then you just have to make sure that you're staggering 
the drill so that the goalies that once again is not getting too many shots at the same time and they have a chance to reset in between okay it's really important you know how you position your stick can make a big difference <laughs> and it can really affect whether you get the pass and whether you have an opportunity to score that's what she said so these drills are important we really need to focus on them because if you're not playing fast and if you don't start your drills and have purpose to your practice then what's the point it doesn't matter how you feel so if you really want to play fast then tell the players we do some passing drills every practice so that we're going to be passing good we're going to be passing fast and we're going to be playing fast then when you get into a game and you're using the same words your the tone and the focus you expect them to do exactly that and i think that you'll find if you're passing lots every practice you're going to see mass improvements make them receive the pass if you don't make them receive the pass they're going to bat it and it's going to be flying all over the place they have to receive it and give it and here's the drill and you can see these are midget players and you can see they're not really going fast it's actually very hard to do fast a lot of fumbling of the puck um, but they are trying to receive it they're trying to skate forward so that's important and you can see in this where we are using all the circles and you don't always have to have a shot on net but the key is to keep your feet moving you can see he's pivoting back and forth as he receives it's hard you really need to be focusing on making sure that you're you got your feet in the right position and your stick in the right position so that when you get into a situation where you're you can go fast you're able to do so um, and you can see these guys this guy's going a little bit faster he's moving his feet he's receiving um, but as you go fast sometimes you make mistakes and it gets a little bit harder to do so um, once again moving your feet as fast as you can and going around the circle as fast as you can is important now this team is a mid triple a team and they're doing a little bit faster you can see that they receive the puck a little bit better um, and they're doing a little bit better but they're still struggling and you can see as this guy goes he receives he's making the pass um, they're they're keeping their feet moving as they go so it's it's a really hard skill to do this on the circle and the better your team can go and do this it's a real indicator skill on how good of a passing team you are if you can receive and give a pass while you're skating around a circle then you know that you're going you're making great strides to be a team that can move the puck fast so it's really important and it's a good drill to get that out thanks for watching the video today hit subscribe and the like button and we'll see you next week for the drill of the week <laughs>